Hello everyone. Welcome to the Badass Recumbent video. It's uh, 4.30 in the morning. I'm out in the middle of the boondocks. And as you can see, it is dark out here. I've got a little light out here. But you can see a billion stars. So anyways, it's a 100 mile ride. I'm going to fill you in on what my recumbent is and how my bachetta is uh, 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 morphed into what it is now. And I'm ready to go. Wow. I'm two miles in. It's 5 a.m. in the morning. It's already 76 degrees. Almost daylight. Look at that field over there. Looks like it has snow on it. I think it's all dew. Bronson. The sun is just getting up. This is a little town. I'm 25 miles in. I've encountered two cars <laughs> so far. And now we're heading west to Otter Creek. And then maybe I can go fast enough to take the King of the Mountain on 24. Wind. That's the only store for miles. It's not open now. It's open later. Later. I only got a couple more miles to go down here. Head directly north. The sun's finally come up. Woke up. Good morning. How is that for you? Is that comfy? Yeah, it's a babe magnet too, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Hey, can I go do a loop and come back without um, paying? I'm not allowed to just let you in. Oh. Yeah, I think bike is only two dollars. Two bucks. Yep. What about a senior discount? There is no senior discount. Can you believe that? You know, you're telling America there's no senior discount here. I can tell everybody that there's no senior discount. I don't mind. <laughs> uh, have I ever been here? I can't remember. Well, I had to pay the two bucks. I've never been back here, even though I've been to the Rangers boats a couple times. We're going to talk about uh, the bike now. I know you've been waiting. We'll start at the top and work all the way down. Uh, the handlebars are zip handlebars with two pieces of aluminum tubing welded onto the end. Uh, I had to find some that would slip on there good. I had to do a little sanding. Then down here, it's just a bicycle seat post clamp. These are off a pair of old handlebars. I cut them off. I can slip them in. They can slide in or back and adjust right or left. The reason I uh, made my own handlebars is the handlebars that come stock in the bike are so flexible when the bike just falls over it puts a bend in the handlebars and it's hard to get back out not only that i lowered my stem by this much and when i lowered it i extended put in an extender i have a 140 millimeter stem on there to bring it down and out so that means your handlebars have to be longer I use paddle shifters, 10 speed paddle shifters. I really like them. These are uh, cork covered handlebars. Wow, did you see that? That squirrel almost got it. I like to have my uh, computer right here. It's easy to reach. Some people put it up front, but I can't reach it. And then I have my trusty little mirror here. And that's all about the handlebars. 
Uh, the zip handlebars you can buy online for about $25. Here's the main Manatee Springs. I'm going to go jump in it and float down. I'll bring the camera with me. You guys want some more of my sandwich? <laughs> There you go. Look, there's a buck. Pretty cool. This is Fanny Springs. Let's see what they have to offer. Lots of parking. Where's the water? I want water. Oh, there's a spray. I think I'll be walking up this. Ooh. Okay. Beautiful spring. Let's go take a quick look. Oh yeah. It's gorgeous. Very pretty water. 20 rivers right out there. Okay, we'll go back to the bike. I've got a uh, a 39 and a 56 front gear ring. Uh, I'm using SRAM 172.5s. I'm using uh, look type pedals. Uh, the other look type pedals I got, uh, I actually wore them out under here. It just wore right out. Uh, the bearings were good. I only got about uh, 20,000 miles out of it. I have in the back on the other side. It's a SRAM 10 speed GT, uh, a 12 to a 32 tooth in the back. And that's the drive chain. A little warm. 88 miles, 93 degrees. Well, I'll make that 94. It's a hot one out here. Last stop, Blue Springs. <laughs> that water felt like it was 50 degrees when I jumped in. I am hot. Anyways, real pretty spring, and you won't believe the price. So tell me, how much is it for senior citizens over 65? A dollar. Say that again? One dollar. I finally get my discount. Three parks, I finally got my discount for senior. Thank you. 95 with 95 miles. Dang it, hot. Okay, I made it back to the parking lot and we saved the best for the last. This is my carbon seat of my own design. And when I change anything on my bike, I change it either for comfort or durability. Like I changed my handlebars for durability and also for comfort. This is a Vinzizit seat pad, custom ordered. It's the extra thick pad okay and I wanted it wide enough now you can see the carbon seat I made it wide enough so it goes all the way across my back and I also made it so it almost sits on the frame there's a piece of rubber there that it sits on uh, that's mounted 
onto the uh, the mount for the bachetta. Uh, you can also see I have three giant holes to let air up through. Now, the box, the tail box, custom made tail box, and it's easy to make. Uh, you can see it's just made out of blue foam. You shape it and put it together, glue it, uh, lay one layer of resin on top of the blue foam and let it get real tacky to touch and then just press down the carbon fiber to it it will stick it it'll stick real good just use a squeegee and then what i did was i gave it an extra layer of uh, resin to give it a shine now when i made the box i have my seat as low as possible you can see i made a cut in the box I don't know if you can see it from down here. I got so much stuff in it, but I carry a lot of stuff. There's actually a cut into the box to let room for the rear tire because I have it so low. I'm at about 10%. Now I've been pretty lucky in the last six years. I've got about 65,000 miles on, give or take. I was lucky enough to help Kurt Siegel in his quest for the 78,000 miles when he broke the uh, the world's record for most uh, miles ridden in a year and then I went on to help uh, Amanda Coker and uh, she broke that by 10,000 miles 86,000 uh, just about somewhere between 15 and 20,000 miles I did with her and um, that was a lot of fun and I it was a lot of work but I really enjoyed it and this, this bike has, oh, I'm gonna get close to 100,000 miles on it. And I think it's time to upgrade my badass CA2. Maybe uh, Pachetta would uh, like to donate a frame to me. I'll put all the parts on it. They're getting a lot of advertising from me. I ride it all over the state. And it's in a lot of my videos. So that was the uh, big ride for today. We ended up with 129 miles. And you can hear the thunderstorms chasing me down. The last five miles was very pleasant. It was windy. I hit 29, 30 miles an hour on some of the places. It was cool. So guys, we will see you all later. Share this video if you can. Leave me some comments if you have questions, and I'll be glad to answer them. Thanks.